when you do these things, you understand, it makes you holy according to the Bible. This is another law. This is another law that God gave us. And this goes for both the male and the female, the man and the woman. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So right now we're dealing with the woman, right? So the woman, the Bible says she shouldn't wear that which pertains to a man. What do women wear today that pertain to men? An item of clothing. Yes. Sweatpants, pants in general. You understand? Your great grandmother probably didn't wear pants. You understand? My don't wear you, you, you understand what I'm saying? So that's a new thing for us today. All right? That's a new thing. All right? You know what's another new thing today? Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What type of clothing, according to the Bible, right, do men wear that they shouldn't because it's a woman's garment? Dresses. Dresses. You see, women, you see men in dresses today? Yeah. You see that? You see, you see men in dresses today? You see men in dresses today? Have you seen that before? Right? You see men in dresses today? You've seen that. God says don't do that. That's an abomination to him. Did we read that? Read on. Sir. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord. I'm sorry, read that part again. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So the Bible says when a, when a man puts on that woman's garment, right? He was created to be a man. He was created to be a ruler. He was created to be mighty. You understand? He was created to be an authority. He was created to grow a beard on his face. You understand? He was created to have that manly dignity about himself. Right? And when you put on that, that woman dress and you get dressed like that, you understand? It, 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 it changes that spirit. God says he shouldn't do that. That's abomination to me now. You understand? Hold on. I'm teaching the sister. All right. All right. All right. I, I'm teaching right now. I got a feeling when you ask your question, you're going to ask your question and you're going to run. I don't want you to do that. No, I'm not a runner. All right. I'm, I'm doing that. I'm working right now. That's why. Okay, I understand I'm, that. I'm run, bro. Oh, okay, no, okay, no, good, good, good. All right, good, good. As long as you're going to stay, because I don't want to interrupt her, because I want to have you, I want to give you time to deal with it. If you, if you got to go, then go, bro. Okay. Bye. No, I'm not answering your question. I know you don't want to answer Read what you got. Or, or read what you got. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. We'll deal with you if you stay right here. All right. If you don't have time, I'm going to ask you a question, right? What sense does it make for me to stop teaching you to answer his question when he's telling me right now that he doesn't have time? If I, if I, he's just going to spew out some rhetoric. You understand what I'm saying? He's going to spew out some rhetoric. And then okay. leave me, leave you confused, you and then walk away. I'm not gonna let that happen. That. Read what you got. You the, mic, you the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what are we talking about right now? We're talking about things that a woman should wear and things that a man should wear, right? So according to the Bible, a woman should not wear what? Shouldn't wear pants. No confusion about that, right? Right. And a man should not wear what? Address, right? Back to the Exodus chapter 30. If you can be patient and show me that you are a, 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 a man of discipline, if you can show me that, and you can be you can show me that you're a man of patience, then I will answer your question. And I will give you I will give you time to respond, alright? Alright? Read you got the book of Exodus, chapter 31 and verse 16. Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath. So the children of Israel should keep the Sabbath, alright? Keep reading. To observe the Sabbath throughout the generations. For a perpetual covenant. It is a sign. It is a what? It is a sign. This is the part that I wanted. Read the part about the perpetual covenant again and read down to where it says it's the sign. So come close, sister. Come close. Come close. All right. So what are we talking about right now? We're talking about the Sabbath day. All right. The Sabbath day. The Sabbath day was given to the people right here on this sign right here. All right. The Sabbath day was given to this people for a sign. You understand what I'm saying? Read what you got. Second Timothy uh, two sixteen. Yeah, that's your question. Yeah, that's your question. All I want to tell you is this: actually, this. First of all, God stands right here in front you. I'm gonna tell you like that, and your book tell you about how many places tell you that you are God. You should know, bro. You came up here disrupting the sister listening. 
sister listening. And we hold on. This forum, this forum was here before you. So don't just ask me what my listen, listen, listen. You said our book tells us something. So don't ask me where it's at, brother. You tell me, man. Watch this. Read this. Listen carefully. What's your name? My name is Al. What is Al? Listen carefully. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 16. Because you you are absolutely correct. I ignored you. We don't have time for the foolish Negro that has existed since slavery happened in America. We don't have time for that. So you are exactly right, Al. You are exactly right. We ignored you. Come on. But shun profane and vain babbling. Read that again. But shun. Come on back, sister. This is going to be real quick. Come on. Come but on, shun profane and vain babbling. Did you hear what that said out? Read it again. He's not listening. Come on. But shun. It says, but do what? But shun. Shun. Go on somewhere with that foolishness, Al. We ain't got time for that, man. You know how long we've been following. You know how long we've been following Egypt. I'm trying to actually. We've been following Egypt. Oh, Since we was in Africa, right. we in a new Egypt now, and you te you still trying to bring I your people into Egypt? Question. Come on, brother. Come on, man. The Read that again. It says, I'm going to show you, show you what the book say. It's Listen it's again. I, I can show you the but shun profane and vain babbling. But shun profane and ba vain babbling. You know what vain mean? It means nothing. It's garbage. It's garbage. It's garbage. Everything, everything what you got. It's garbage. Listen. For they, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. Whatever you got to say, if it's not according to the words of God who created you, it's, it'll just increase more wicked Negro. That's right. He'll finish teaching you. What are you talking about? Does this say Y'all don't know that, bro. All right. That's a book of chapter 20. How many camps y'all got? Y'all don't get along. chapter 20. Y'all can't get along. How many camps y'all got? Y'all don't get along. Listen, bro. No, that's confusing right there. How get, many camps y'all got? Get uh, Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 5, all right? GMS. Listen, no, listen, 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 bro. Listen, listen. The brother just addressed you. He gave you some attention, all right? So, so, get, uh, get, uh, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7, all right? Right, get Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. Quickly, quickly. This is for this brother right here. All right. All right. Why? Because we came out here to edify the people. All right. To teach. All right. What are we trying to do? Build up our communities. All right. It's enough confusion out here already. Right. We ain't got enough confusion. Confusion in our communities. Read what you got. The Book of Proverbs, chapter one and verse seven. Come on. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. All right. Now I want everybody out here. To, 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 to add, to, I want y'all to answer me this. Did that brother look like he feared the Lord that was standing right here? Did we did we cuss anybody out today? Did we do that? Did we uh, Are we out here uh, 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 trying to get y'all numbers? You understand? Trying to take you home? You understand? Are we doing any, are we breaking any laws out here? Are we trying to take y'all money? We got a pen out here trying to get some money from you? What are we trying to do? Teach God's laws. That's you understand? Right. We're trying to teach God's laws. Right. We're trying to teach you that this man right here caused us to hate each other. That's right? right? That man that, that just left here, you understand, is bringing hatred over here for his own people. Right. We out here trying to build y'all up, teach you out of the Bible. Right. You understand? Yeah. And this brother, right, is perpetuating the, the slavery, you understand, that, that we was that we just was released from right. about, about 100 years ago, right. 200 years ago. You understand? Right. We, we done with that. Right. We, we done hating each other. Right. You understand? We need to gather together and keep God's laws, right? right? Read that again. Proverbs chapter 1. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Right, so you know if a brother has knowledge, my sister right here, what's knowledge according to the Bible? The law of God. The law of God. That's right. How does she know that? Because we taught it to her out of the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? So the Bible says that the fear of the Lord does what? Beginning of knowledge. But fools. But what? Fools. But what? Fools. Despise. They do what? Despise wisdom. They despise wisdom. Come on. And instruction. They don't want to be told anything, bro. We said, look, you stand right here. Be patient. Be disciplined. We we'll answer your question. No, no, no. I gotta go. If you gotta go, what well, I'm gonna give you the, the floor for? We give you the floor, and then what you do? You leave. Get that in James. You, get, get that in James. Get that in James. You stand right here, and then you spew out your rhetoric, right? Just like we said that he was gonna do. And then what happens? 
he leave. Now everybody's standing here, like, when we gonna get back to learning? You understand? See, we try to avoid these things because we already have read the Bible. The Bible spoke about men like that coming over here to disrupt you from learning the truth about God. You understand what I'm saying? You got what you want? So, men of understanding will keep God's commandments. No, keep your son over here, sister. It's something I can need to show him. Sister, right here. Something I need to show your son. Uh, you said the color of Christ, right? Yeah, he thinks that's Christ right there. All right. Come close, come close, come close. What's your name? What's your name? Elijah. Elijah. How much time you got? That's right. A lot. You got some time? Yeah. All right, bear with me, bear with me. We're going into the Sabbath right now. Get what you got. Get what you got. I don't want y'all to think that I'm strong, that we strong-handed with our people. We not. We do not tolerate foolishness, though. Right, right. We've been listen. It hurts me to see when my sister is walking around with a baby and the father is nowhere. That's that hurt. I'm we t we right. done with that. Right. right. And it. We done. It's it, it's too late. The end. The world is ending. But that's still the condition of our people. Right. We tired of it. Jeez, so we right. don't have time for simple foolish Negroes right. trying to lead our people back or disrupt what we're doing to take us back from some stuff that we didn't disprove six, seven, eight years ago. Yeah, you, right. you think you're the only Negro that never stumbled across the Book of the Dead? Right. You think you're the only Negro that ever stumbled across Egyptology, New Ibianism? No. So let's understand this plainly why the brother was dealt like this. We love our people, including the brother, but don't we, don't, we do not play. This is not a joke or a game. Come on. The book of James, chapter 1, verse 26. Come on. If any man among you seem to be religious. If anybody seem to have some type of knowledge or doctrine. If any man. Come on. And bridleth not his tongue. That word bridleth mean hold down, contain, control. You can't control. You just got. We, you can't give my man a second to deal with the sister who listening. Who been listening before you. You got to be disrespectful to her and us. You can't give him a couple minutes. What, you only been standing here for two or three minutes. So if any man among you or among us come up acting like they got some doctrine with them, some wisdom with them, and can't control their mouth, come on, but deceiveth his own heart. He's deceiving his own heart. So yes, before he asks this question, we already can see plainly because God said so. He is a whatever he's coming with is foolishness. We have no time for it. That's right. Just I don't want nobody to think we we don't like we don't love our people. We do love our people. We just do not have time for simplicity. We don't. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.